So a revelation I just made about my week is that uh, my week when it comes to my battling schedule is kind of like a Big Mac, you know. Uh, it's got the good, nice, secure uploads on Monday and Friday and then on Wednesday, which are the bread, and it kind of holds everything together. And then it's got the beef in the middle, which is Tuesday and Thursday. Now I say Big Mac is Big Mac. McDonald's doesn't really have very thick patties for the Big Mac. So that's kind of what I'm serving you guys right now. I'm giving you guys this second bottom patty. Um, now the reason I'm doing like kind of a short match is because I want to be streaming so by the time you're actually watching this I'm recording this the night before but if you're watching this I either will A currently be streaming or B will have already finished streaming and in which case if you missed it you know you can check out the link in my uh, channel banner bookmark that and then you know make an account follow it and then it'll send you an email as soon as I start again you know just so you can kind of avoid that but I have an RE match against uh, Big Nose for the win. You're probably noticing that he had an unknown. I completely forgot about that too. I was like, what the fuck? But um, he leads with Typhlosion. He's going to go for a hidden power. I don't know what it is, but it's not electric. It has to be grass or ice. Uh, if it was dark, that would have been stupid, but I figured it was going to be grass or ice, so I decided to go out into uh, Magmortar to take the hit, you know, because I can resist either one. And he'll have to switch out, so I decided to go for the flamethrower on the switch, predicting him not to stay in. And I think I have, uh, fucking, I have Fire Blast or Overheat on this thing. I can't remember which one it is. But, uh, I decided to go for the Flamethrower just for some solid damage, make sure I didn't miss and whatnot. Now, I don't really know, I think the reason I switched out here was actually expecting an Earthquake, come to think of it. But he goes for the Crunch instead, uh, and also gets the Defense Drop, which is gonna be a little bit annoying when it comes to me draining the rest of my health back. But, um, it looks like he's more of a specially defensive build, uh, other as opposed to physical, you know, owing to how well he took that flamethrower. I myself run a uh, specially defensive Drapion as well. Because his defense isn't that bad, you know, it doesn't really need too much investment. But uh, he decides to go for the crunch again, thanks to the defense drop, it's going to do a substantial amount more. But, you know, thanks to the fact that it's not minus two, and I do have max HP in this guy, I am able to, uh, to take that hit and take out the Drapion, and now he doesn't have toxic spikes up, or, you know, if he didn't have them, then, hey, I just took it out. So. Primate comes in. Now, he's using this Primate weird in the sense that he's killing me with U-Turn, which is actually giving me the switch advantage, and, you know, this actually doesn't happen not once. It happens, like, two or three times, I think. So, he goes in a Sand Slash. If you were paying attention to the team preview, I do have a Sceptile. Now, this Sceptile does fucking work in this match, let me tell you. So, I go for the Giga Drain. This is my spec Sceptile. Uh, Sand Slash does not have a phenomenal uh, special defense, and I do get a crit here, but I really don't think it matters, because that's specs and everything that would have done a great amount otherwise but it lets him go into Typhlosion I don't know why he just kind of threw it away like that uh, maybe he thought I would over predict or something but I decided to go out into Magmortar and he goes for the Fire Blast now I expect to take this pretty well but I forgot he was in blaze range and I take a fuck ton from that guys that is just so much but right there, that shows me that he's not Scarfed too, because Magmortar is naturally slower. I don't know what he was. He could have been Specs and then Blaze and whatnot. I don't know, but I took him out, and that's great. Now, here's where I say that he does the U-turn kill thing again, which is like, if you did that, if you went for Earthquake, then you know you might not have had to risk the Flame Body. If I got Flame Body right there, that would have been fucking hilarious, but I didn't. The thing is now he lets me know what he's going to switch in, what I can deal with, as opposed to uh, him, you know, switching in something and then I just will be at the mercy of that. But uh, no, it's the other way around. So he sends in a Vespiquen. I'm actually going to go ahead and send in my Galvantula, drop a Thunder on this motherfucker, and it does so much damage. Now, I'm not really too scared of Vespiquen because I know that Thunders will be doing a really good amount of damage. I mean, it's pretty defensive. It would have been great if I had Rocks up because I would have killed it right off the bat. Um, but I wanted to whittle down Typhlosion's health first as opposed to setting up rocks because I thought that would have been kind of a waste. I was kind of fearing Scarf Typhlosion initially since, you know, it's faster than Claydol any way you cut it. But I go for a hidden power right there because I know my luck. Fucking Thunder's like 91, 92, 92, 90 something, something low 90s, I think. Anyways, it's close enough to high jump kick where I'm going to be a little bit skeptical as to whether or not I hit, so I just go for the HP ice and I finish it off. But he goes for the fire punch now. And the fact that he Scarfed is just like, oh, you know, he can lock himself in on moves, and I got plenty of shit to deal with this. So, uh, since he's locked in on Fire Punch, I'm going to go ahead and Dragon Dance on the Switch, because that's what Crawdons do. Uh, this is a Dream World Crawdont that has adaptability, so it gets a, uh, it gets, like, double stab on Waterfall and Crunch, and that is just so good. The problem is, is it's slow. <laughs> 
as is going to be noted here, I was like, all right, plus two, I got this. This is going to be good game from here, you know. I don't have to worry about this at all. And it turns out he's faster even at plus two, you know, because uh, Scarf, Primeape, and whatnot. I was like, I could have sworn that I, I might have maybe been faster than, like, Adam and Scarf, but, you know, I guess I just researched my numbers wrong or something because I end up dying. But the cool thing is is now uh now he's you know got the the minus one defense or special defense rather and if i live this close combat he'll be a minus two and he will definitely put me in overgrow so let's recap uh his spec d is cut in half uh i'm a specs spectile septile dyslexic moment <laughs> and uh that cleans him out in one shot you know just a neutral hit just because of oh that was just overwhelming i i love that turn right there but he brought his own known for whatever reason. Now, if this was any other Pokemon, I don't know how this would have went. This could have gone completely different, but it's an unknown. I really don't have to worry about it at all because the Specs Giga Drain is just going to be a one-hit KO on it. And, um, yeah, is that the excl exclamation or is that the I? I forget how it looks. I think that might be the exclamation mark unknown. I don't know these things. But very quick game. Hope that tied you, tied you guys over. Uh, this is mainly just, you know, because I'm going to be streaming. So uh, if you came to this before the actual stream video, you can check out the link in the description. That will take you immediately there. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys there.